Hey everyone, welcome to another coffee grind tutorial on YouTube. Now, this time around, I'll be showing the process for my painting of Aerith from Final Fantasy VII Remake. As with the Tifa process video I did last time, I wanted to mention that these tend to be for practice, and when it's for practice, I'm going to be trying new things. In this particular piece, I am looking to try out simplification of characters meant for 3D models. Now there is a distinct difference when you are painting something and when you are just doing 3D. When you're painting something, you're more likely to simplify and of course you can always just render every single detail for certain concept art, but especially if you're doing something more interpretive, you want to have your own personal touch to it and a lot of times your style comes from not what you're adding to the character or your subject matter it's what you're subtracting and what you're simplifying those are your primary decisions when it comes to painting and your style will revolve around what you choose to do that other artists might not or what you choose not to do and what or other artists might do. So those sort of things I will be playing around with with this piece. As with the Tifa piece as well, I will be trying out a lot of different faces and just seeing how cartoony I can go before my style doesn't really work with it. And again, if I'm not showing you this footage, nobody would bat an eye, but I am trying to show you that even though I am professional, I will try different things and different techniques. Nothing is set in stone. It's always a constant practice and grind to just try new things. And I urge people, whoever is watching this, to not be afraid of trying new things. Because you never know what you're going to learn from it. Now I will preface before moving on.
So unfortunately, my OBS recording program crashed midway and I couldn't get the final 30 minutes of footage on the changes I've made to the piece to finalize it. So I'll describe the most significant ones here. So first and foremost, I changed the proportions of her face so that she's still stylized, but not so much. She was starting to look a little bit too cartoony, and there are degrees of anime where you could go from something like Studio Trigger really cartoonish to something more realistic in the realm of Persona, even though they're both very stylized. So in my case, I felt that Aerith needed a more realistic proportion face, so similar to something like a Persona type of anime style rather than something too cartoony. The second really big change is the color scheme in general. I felt the color temperature differences between the figure, so Aerith, to the background was a little bit too much, so I ended up trying to meld the gap between the two, so it ended up being more blue than just having stark red or stark cyan. Now of course, if you're doing something really cartoony, it's not really a big deal, um, because cartoony styles tend to work a lot better with starker color contrast, but since I am going for the more Persona type of look, uh, I really wanted to slow down on the really harsh color differences and make sure that it feels like the background is affecting the figure. All in all, it would maybe add a 30 minute timer on both of those changes. It's not really a huge deal. Nothing that transform tools and hue sliders can't do really quickly. So I apologize for the missing footage. Hopefully you still enjoyed the process and I'll see you next time.